Hi, this is Mr. Mendoza. Just wanted to wish you um, the start of a, a, a weekend. It is Friday, May 22nd, 2020. My goal is, a personal goal is to give you a video that is less than two minutes. So here we go. A reading Nook Challenge, Mission Accomplished. Thank you, Carrot Noor, for sending that amazing and lovely picture. We have some updates, uh, most importantly from yesterday's Google Meet. A few things we talked about are located over here. Um, just make sure that you understand that there are a few changes. Please read them. Um, for math, we'll have game day today. For writing, we'll have more experiments, but something from Ms. Mendoza, something very specific. We have our hidden meanings solved, small talk, two left feet, get up and go, and painless operation. My big, big shout out is to Biba, Diani, and Miss Atchison for putting the talent show, which is um, debuted yesterday. And to our, our amazing uh, Morgan and Arwa for, uh, for being very courageous and brave to showcase their passion and skill. Thank you very much. And many, many, many thanks to everyone for putting that together. We have, for math, we have some games. So just click on the games here and play. For reading, we have the books again. Again, starting next week, the reading, it's going to be amped up a little bit more, more specific. But thank you for creating your libraries. Um, and I'd love to, to, to see those. Um, big shout out to Harris for reading 1.3 hours um, yesterday on Epic. Well done. And for light and sound, so for the writing, so here we go. So for this one, you're just going to click on the appropriate slides. And for grade fours, you have a challenge about light and color. There's about three of them. Um, so there is going to be making black, seeing colors, and rainbow making. So the big idea here is that colors, right, so through light, um, the, the colors that we see are not separate and distinct colors, but as a result of light either reflecting or being absorbed. So things that your that your eyes see, it's not so much that it is very specific or it's separate. It's actually what is left over when something absorbs it or it gets reflected. So there are, um, you're gonna choose one or more, depending on what you would like to do. Uh, keep in mind safety first. There's making black here, so it has material instructions. It's got a question and a hypothesis, and a hypothesis is a big word for a guess. So I think, so what colors make black? Uh, I think it's this. So um, again, you're going to record your observations here and making black experiment. You record your dye drops below. So. The color, you're making your observations in these little tables here, okay? Um, so simply, you just there's there's different ones here for sure. Results, very important. Reflections, again, little questions. You're just going to answer them. And if I scroll down, there's another one. Seeing colors gives you material instructions. Keep in mind, if you don't have the materials, obviously try to do something else. But read the instructions carefully. Okay, and you just go scroll down. So choose one of those and fill it out. It will be on your Google Classroom as your own copy. Grade fives, you're big at, you have an ice cube challenge. So simply you explore the impact of heat um, as it changes, um, changes the states of matter. So if you have an ice cube or don't have one yet, maybe you could freeze something and then take it out. Um, but the challenge is to find the fastest way to melt the ice into water. So you can use any object in your home. You just can't cook the ice cube. So you can't put it in boiling water. Um, you can't put it on a hot pan. You can't put it inside your oven. Nothing like that, okay? Um, but you can use a hair dryer, hot tea, um, styrofoam cup, um, aluminum foil, your, even your hands to melt it. Again, be very, very safe, especially when you're handling hot liquids you must do your best to keep um like you know have a stopwatch or a time device so maybe having three ice cubes is good so you can get an idea of um, what objects you use to heat it up okay and to melt it so you have to still do this part which materials object that you use to help so you're going to write that something down there and explain why that happened and which material object was the slowest? So is there something that you used that was super slow in melting the ice cube? So from very fast 
to very slow, okay? Now, hold on for a second. Um, the most important here is this one. How does heat and temperature affect how quickly ice melts, okay? So heat is something that's generated. Uh, temperature is something that stays the same depending where you are. So um, they go hand in hand. Um, so you create more heat if you put your hands together. Um, the temperature changes, right? Um, so what have you learned about that? Okay, and this is very important. So think of what's happening with our glaciers and icebergs and the whole climate change action that's happening, okay? Um, but wait a minute. What if the challenge was the opposite? Now, I did this last year. Um, you needed to create a container that would keep the ice cube from melting. So it actually takes longer. So as some sort of structure or insulation device that would keep the ice cube from melting. So this one obviously will take a little bit longer. You have to check up on it a little bit, okay? And make sure you slow down though. Think about what you will make, plan, draw, and then build. So don't just start putting things together and hope for the best. Okay, try to think a little bit, plan, draw it out, then building it, okay? And that, you can share a picture of your insertion container on the slide, okay? Using your um, your Chromebook camera or your, or a phone and just attach it over here, okay? And that is pretty much it for today. There's some optional activities. You get the futsal shuffle from my TikTok friend, mindful moments, um, mashup math is big bro, little bro on Google Jamboard. And this is our puzzle, poor puzzle, hidden meanings, and out for kids hub. We do have our exit ticket here. Just click on it. Again, thank you very much for um, doing your best this week. And it's a short week, but very productive. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.